Hello everyone, it's Red Herring and this is what I wore this month for the month of June 2016. Last month I promised that I would uh, cut down on some of the cups that I try so that I could get a better read on a particular cup or a couple of particular cups instead of using several cups uh, during my period and only using it for one or two days. So this time I narrowed it down to just a, a few cups. Um, it's still a few cups only because I like to wear certain cups when I'm out. Um, I know that I can trust these cups so of course if you had seen any of my other videos I did wear my Super Jenny and my Eva cup. Those are my go-to cups. Um, and then I wore two other cups. So um, if you find anything in this video that's helpful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Um, also, um, my mother is going to be in town uh, this week. She arrives on Wednesday and so while I put this video out, she had already arrived. Um, she'll be here until the 5th of of July and then I have a, an appointment on the 7th um, and or actually it's the 6th, 7th and 8th uh, I'll be doing some filming not at home so um, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to put up a video during that time but when I return as promised I will uh, do a giveaway for that teal super Jenny that I had uh, was it last month or the month before I don't know. You'll have to go back and see, but um, I'm going to do a giveaway on that when I return. So uh, stay tuned and watch for that. Uh, somebody suggested that I share a couple of my Etsy items uh, so that you guys know what I have or what's new. And so here are two of the new fabric patterns that I received and I stitched up. So this one is uh, just some scales in rainbow shades, uh, variations of it. That's why I have two here. Uh, so, you know, you don't get to choose which one you want. Uh, you kind of get them at random, but these are two different of the areas of the fabric that you may uh, get. And these are mini wet pouches or um, cloth cloth pad wrappers uh, so um, I stitched the uh, the flap here it's just a flap over top so you flip it and you can insert your cloth pad or a cup or whatever you want to keep contained um, and I mean it doesn't like hold water if you pour water in here and and let it sit in there it's just gonna start seeping through but if you have a soiled pad and you fold it up and you place it in here it's not gonna get all over your purse your bag your diaper bag whatever um, so scales are the first one that I got actually I got more than these but these are the ones that I already have stitched up and they'll be introduced to my Etsy shop uh, hopefully later today uh, this one is stars it kinda looks like they're glowing but they don't uh, it just has this halo around the stars and kind of gives that effect. So this one is stitched here at the flap as well. They're the same size. Uh, the back is just kind of plain. I mean, same same pool fabric uh, pattern. So those are the two items that I'm going to be introducing, uh, if not today, sometime this week. So here is my Clue app. Um, I love Clue. I've tried a couple different uh, menstrual tracker apps and Clue is the one that I ended up sticking with. Um, they did include menstrual cups into their app so that's awesome. Um, I don't keep track of everything like if I had sex that day or if I uh, was moody. I'm always moody. Just whatever you know so uh, I don't really track pains or anything I just track when I bleed and how much I bleed so here is my calendar and at the end of this video video I will also include uh, the calendar again marked with the cups that I used for which day so clue cued me in that I would be uh, starting my period and so I started using my cup two days before that just in case I started spotting plus I was going to be out of the house 
and I wanted to make sure that I was covered. So I just went ahead and uh, inserted a cup and used that for those two days and I'm glad I did because I did start spotting on that second day and I used my black small super jenny this was a tester cup so please don't contact the company asking if you can get this cup you can leave your comments in uh, the description or not the description you can leave your comments below and um, they are queued into my channel so they'll see if there's a lot of um, discussion about this and Perhaps they will introduce it into their colors, um, or maybe they'll do a special edition, or maybe a giveaway. Halloween would be awesome. Uh, Valentine's would be kind of awesome, too, for those that despise that day. But I used this cup, and um, <clears throat> again, this is a small... I really like the these these little Super Jennies. They're just so handy if you don't need a full you know, the full capacity of a cup and you just like to have something smaller. This is just awesome. I love it. It pops open for me really easily, sits nicely, really comfortable. Um, and I use it quite a bit. Sometimes I actually use it on some of my heavier days and although I have to dump it a couple of extra times and yes, I do have large Super Jennies. I just find that this one is um, a little bit easier for me to get to open. It seems like it's more firm and actually it's not that it's more firm It's just that this area is a shorter area than the large before you hit that secondary or that invisible secondary rim So it does get thicker as you travel up towards the rim of this cup so the um, thicker area seems more or is lower because it's sh shorter um, and it just kind of pops open easier for me but uh, not that I have problems with the large sometimes actually I have a little trouble with the the large only when my cervix drops down um, unusual unusually uh, low and I just you know I'm not used to it so hitting my cervix trying to get this one or the large to open um, is kind of tricky for me because I'm just not used to it being there. So the small always is nice for me to grab and I just I really really love this cup. Again do not contact the Super Jenny company to get the black. Leave your comments below. Uh, leave your wishes and requests below. They will see it. So last month I was saying that I would try the Iwo cup again and try to master uh, getting this cup emptied uh, and I think I kind of mastered it, kind of, <laughs> uh, so I guess I didn't master it, but um, it seems like I will always have, you know, bloody fingers. Whether I remove a cup or not, and it's one of these funnel kind, I, I think you're going to always have uh, bloody fingers. So uh, if you watched my video on this cup, this cup was so easy to open. It's probably the easiest cup that I've ever had to get inserted and open. It is a small bowl here and I'll put it up against my Super Jenny small so that you can see the size of it. And um, so this cup I've I just use the C folded since it's small already. Insert it, it pops open, no coaxing at all. Autopilot, it goes straight in. Um, if I uh, don't bear it, like when I squat or something, you kind of automatically push down or your body is pushing down. When I sit back up straight or if I stand up, this cup just goes straight in. I feel around and my cervix is where it needs to be. Um, either it's right here or the cup is sitting a little bit below my cervix so it is uh, in position. And I, after the first time that I inserted it for this period, I didn't check it again to make sure that it was where it needed to be just to see if it was, you know, a fluke. So um, I wore this uh, all that day and I did end up emptying it quite a few times, I'd say three times, and it wasn't because I felt like I needed to, just that I was kind of worried if it was going to overflow, I didn't want that to happen. Um, and so I went ahead and emptied it. I didn't just leave it in. Um, 
all day to see if it was going to leak. I knew it was going to leak because I did start getting heavy. Um, and so I didn't have any problems. The only thing is, I it didn't matter which way or what position I sat in or which position I put my hand in. I always had at least two bloody fingers, which were these two. So it's really up to you how you want to you know, deal with your period sometimes. Like if you're one of those people that don't have a sink near you during the day, maybe you're at work or something, and you are the type of person that likes to remove your cup and then actually rinse it out, um, and you don't have anywhere to rinse it out, this could be a good option for you. Um, you just, you know, you can squeeze that and remove the contents of your cup. So uh, either you remove your cup and have bloody fingers and a bloody cup or you leave the cup in and you have a couple bloody fingers. So uh, my tip would be to make sure you do have some uh, wet wipes um, or baby wipes or something, anything to clean your fingers up and probably uh, what I did was I always wiped the, the funnel area before I folded it over and tucked it right behind my pubic bone um, and I always do that now. Jennifer did say you know or suggest to me to do that because the stem was starting to kind of irritate me. I could feel it when I sat down a certain way. Um, and so folding it over and then tucking it behind my pubic bone really helped me be comfortable with this cup. So as you can see, it's kind of small here if you fold it over. And um, I think it might actually be okay for somebody with a low cervix. So I mean, I can't promise that any cup is going to work for you, but this one might actually work for you. Um, so I... I actually was very surprised that I'm okay with this cup. I didn't think that it was going to work. I didn't think it was going to be comfortable, but um, it was it was all right. Again, I did not do any kind of heavy, deep searching for any information on this uh, menstrual cup, so please do your own homework. Contact the company. Um, I know that they say or they post certificates on their listings, but anybody could edit any um, any certificates. They can you know copy and paste certificates from somebody else and then edit to have their name on it and stuff. So um, I think this might likely be a food grade silicone. It is a thick silicone and it feels really well made. It's it's way nicer made than some of my other knockoff cups. Um, this one I haven't seen. I mean I don't think it's a knockoff uh, but there are others that resemble this cup. So um, I really was okay with this cup. Uh, so my period started getting a little bit heavier and I needed a little bit more capacity and I didn't want to have to deal with the Iwo cup uh, while I was out. I wasn't really ready to take that leap and, and uh, use it while I was going to be out for the day. So I grabbed for my Eva cup, uh, which is, it was my very first favorite cup and it still is. This is their newer edition, 2016 and um, it, they did change their silicone so it's a little bit more gummy or squishy feeling. Uh, it, because of that gumminess, it feels softer than their um, original version, but it is the same shore, which is a 50 shore rating, uh, but it still pops open really easily just because they have that secondary rim that is really high. Uh, so I have no problems with this. It doesn't matter if my cervix drops kind of low or stays high. This cup is always nice for me. Works perfectly. Uh, if I have a really, 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 really heavy period with a lots of clots, which I haven't had for quite a while, um, I do have to empty this cup one extra time than normal, but um, overall, this cup always works out for me, and it, it's just so comfortable that I don't have to worry about it. I know I don't have to worry about it when I'm out and about. After a couple days with my Eva cup, um, I, my period started to lighten up just a little bit and I wanted to give another cup a try. And I know that I already used the Schoon cup 
a while back, but I haven't been using it lately. And so I wanted to try it out again. And um, this cup is a little bit more gummy, so it has that squishy feeling like the Eva cup does. Uh, but when I first received it, I wasn't too keen on my body and I didn't know exactly how to get this one to open for me. So with softer cups, I do have to use an easy fold, which for me is the C fold. And then I only insert a cup halfway before allowing it to pop open. And that's how I was able to get this cup to open and almost all of my other soft cups to open. Uh, this cup is really comfortable. I like it a lot. The only problem that I have with it now is sometimes it rides up uh, high on me for my medium to high cervix, uh, which I guess isn't a real big problem because I know how to reach for it and bear down to get it to drop down enough for me to, uh, to remove it. But the other thing is a lot of these bell-shaped uh, flared top cups um, seal really tightly on me and it's not so bad with the scoon cup but like the Sabelle I it doesn't matter how much I push down on the rim it just kind of wants to go with the flow and and stay sealed so I have sometimes a little bit more tricky time trying to get that seal to break but the scoon is really comfortable. I don't have too much of problem trying to get the seal to break and then to remove it. Uh, so if you do have a medium to high cervix, just watch for that. Don't panic. Um, break that, that seal before you remove it. And um, it's just a really nice cup. I know that the older versions um, floating around, there's some videos uh, saying that the, the quality wasn't that great, but I think mine is a newer version or, well, I've had it for at least over a year. Um, and this one is is well made. It, it feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to just disintegrate like some of my other, uh, well, not other cups, but like the China Cheapies that I've, I've received. This one I know, uh, or not that I know, but it does feel like a quality cup unlike some of those China cheapies. So. At the tail end of my period, I ended up going back to my Black Super Jenny and using that for a couple days. I was just spotting um, and I didn't need a, a larger cup to cover me and I don't know, it's just comfortable for me and I knew that it was going to be and so I did. I just, just used it just because. Um, I know that in my last video, which was the um, Iris unboxing, Iris cup unboxing, I said that I was on my period and I was going to wash the cup, boil it, and um, give it a try, but when I finally got them and did my video, my unboxing video, and then uh, was going to try it, I wasn't bleeding anymore. So I didn't get to the Iris cup. Um, for this month and I promise I will have it prepared and I will try it next month and let you know how it goes. Here is my calendar for the days that I wore those cups or which cups I wore for which day and how long I wore them for. So those were the four cups that I used for this month. Uh, please let me know which cup you would want to try and if you would want the Black Super Jenny, uh, leave those comments down below and I will forward them to the Super Jenny company. Please do not contact them yourself. Don't forget to watch for my giveaway video, which will most likely be up um, the second week of July, hopefully. Uh, and that is a brand new cup. I did take it out of the box just to do a couple of videos, but it is brand new. Never used it. Nobody's used it. Um, also, I wanted to give you a heads up that in October, uh, from the 5th to the 10th, I will be in Las Vegas. I'm staying at the California Hotel. Um, and then from Vegas, I will be in Port Orange, which is near Daytona in Florida, and then the week after that I will be at Disney World staying at the Pop Century, I think the Pop Century, I'm, I have to look at hotels, um, 
So anyhow, I was supposed to bring all of my cups to meet up with one of my viewers and friends on Facebook, um, and she wanted to see all of my cups, so I was going to bring them, but then she is moving to Miami, so we're not going to be able to meet up, so I'm going to open it up to all of you. If you are going to be in that area or live in that area and you're able to come out to see me and you want to see all of my cups and do your own squish comparisons and sizing and blah 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 uh, throw them on the bed and roll around in them I don't know uh, please let me know in the comments or find me on Facebook and we can figure something out there um, if nobody is interested then I'm just not going to bring my cups but if you are please keep in mind that I have to carry these cups for the next three weeks um, with me to Vegas and Disney World or Port Port Orange and Disney World. So if you say you're going to meet up with me, please, um, you know, keep that appointment. Uh, my time is valuable. I'll be spending some time uh, with my father who is flying in from Hawaii to Vegas. We're meeting up there. And then my mother-in-law is in Florida. Um, so, and then uh, Disney World, obviously. My, my children are grown, but, you know, I still want to spend time with them. Um, and so... Please, if you do say you want to meet up, please keep that appointment. You're going to have to come to me because I don't have any transportation. Um, and you can, you know, meet me at the hotels or we can figure something out when I'm staying uh, with my mother-in-law uh, at Port Orange. So um, get a hold of me on Facebook if you're interested in that. And if there's even just one person, I won't mind bringing all of my cups for you to you know, roll around on the bed with and pose and take pictures. No. Um, so, uh, I think that's about it for now. Um, oh well. So until I see you next time, take care.